three years ago, I read a research paper where a doctorate student looked at solitary confinement in the United States. He found that those who were jailed in confinement had a higher risk of developing pathologies, self-mutilation, and suicide. They experienced heightened levels of anxiety, nervousness, tension. Two out of three, it said. Two out of three prison suicides had been subject to solitary confinement. I've never been incarcerated, but I've learned a lot about solitary. It feels like ages since I've seen another soul on this earth. With no one to talk to, interact with, you can only listen for so long silence. For days on end, it's unbearable. I felt like I was deaf. Not the warm voice of a woman, just the empty whistle of the wind. I am alone. Completely alone, and I can't bear it. This is my last broadcast. Goodbye. Connor, what are you doing? My friend. I never thought I'd see you again. I guess it's over. I didn't even feel the impact. Connor, you're, you're not dead. You, di you didn't jump. The world didn't end. Is this heaven? It, it's cold. I don't like it. Yet. Connor! You're not dead! Shucks! I thought I had it right this time. You know, I really thought I had it. I must have been wrong. I'm sorry to trouble you. Is anyone else alive? Pretty much everyone. Back to base camp. What happened all the swords and stuff? We can't do that now, it's past January. Come on. Connor. What? Connor! What? It would be Finn, the Velociraptors, okay? Turn around! What do you We're here to help you. This whole end of the world thing is just it's kinda You just... haven't been to class in weeks. Your goldfish died. Look, we all know that you watched the day after tomorrow, and it really meant a lot to you, man, but... There will be a day after tomorrow. The radio broadcast, the, the day scrounging for food, it can't all be fake! Shh. I am alone. Completely alone. Shh. The letter! Read the letter, grandson! My dearest grandson, I have unfortunate news for you, I'm afraid. Twenty years ago, I stumbled upon a code in the laboratory as I swept up some broken glass. Grandson, this code predicts the end of the world as we know it. It does not say how, but I am sure, without a shadow of a doubt, there's a code in it, you dummy! And I did. I kept it a secret. Nobody knew. Until.